Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with another Pacific Rim related video for this week. And in this video, we're gonna spotlight yet another kaiju, this time one of the most famous kaiju from the original Pacific Rim film, the Category 3 kaiju, Knifehead. Knifehead stands at 315 feet tall and weighs 2,700 tons. It first breached on February 29th, 2020 near Anchorage, Alaska. Knifehead has a medium level of toxicity, and its weak points are the base of its neck and its throat. Knifehead is a heavy-built kaiju whose most notable feature is its long and broad, sharp nose that's its primary form of attack, which can easily cut through the armor of a Jaeger. Knifehead possesses four arms, two larger dominant ones, and two smaller secondary arms that protrude from its stomach. On each of these arms, there's a three-clawed hand, with the middle claw being longer and more extended than the other two. And it should be noted that Knifehead is the largest Category 3 kaiju to date. Knifehead's primary battle strategy is to first attempt to intimidate its opponent, both physically and by using loud auditory sounds, and then to attack its opponent head-on, both with its large knife-shaped nose and with its powerful incisors. Knifehead's appearance in the film led to several notable events. Obviously, the most notable one is that it's the last kaiju that Yancey and Riley Beckett fought together, due to it killing Yancey Beckett during battle, which led to the second instance where a single ranger piloted a Jaeger on their own. This also led to Gypsy Danger being removed from active duty and incapacitated for five years. But in terms of the kaiju war itself, Knifehead also holds a very significant role, as it changed the face of kaiju engagement. Knifehead was the first kaiju on record to use tactics during a battle. Previously, kaiju only acted like wild animals. But during its battle with Gypsy Danger, Knifehead played possum until Gypsy Danger lowered its guard, which gave it an opening to severely damage it and kill Yancey Beckett. Before we end this off, some fun facts behind the scenes about Knifehead is that Knifehead was the first kaiju created by Industrial Light and Magic, and both Knifehead and Scunner use the same basic CG body as Trustpasser. And that's everything you need to know about Knifehead. So, let us know what you think about this kaiju in the comments, and if there's any other kaiju that you'd like to have explained. And if you're interested in hearing more Pacific Rim-related videos, feel free to click that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be immediately informed whenever a new video goes up. But until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out.